Hello and happy new moon, my friends. It's Allison. Welcome back to Moon Medicine Yoga. This will be a 30 minute yoga class honoring the new moon in Pisces and Pisces season. The most watery of water signs, Pisces has strong ties to dreams, emotions, intuition, and mystery. Her close alignment with water also makes Pisces a sign of purification, the divine feminine, and creation. She represents the fluidity of all things in nature. Like water carves the rock, Pisces shows us the strength and softness and the universal power of inner forces like love, forgiveness, and compassion. For this new moon, let's step back from the material world and consider how we want to feel in the coming days. Strong, peaceful, free. Let this feeling word be our guide as we set intentions for this lunar cycle. And feel free to bring your word to life by sharing it in the comments. Thank you again for being here. Before we begin, hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed for more yoga inspired by the moon, nature, and the seasons. Without further ado, let's find a comfortable seat and get started. As you arrive, close the eyes and take a few deep breaths. Maybe in through the nose and out of the mouth. Now just breathing nasally, begin to notice the natural rhythm of your breath flowing in and out like ocean waves. And now blinking the eyes open, let's create a Pisces mudra with the hands. Connect the tips of the index fingers and thumbs and then interlock those little finger circles. Connect the remaining three fingers, and there you have it. This is a mudra for unconditional love, said to resemble the Pisces interlocking fish. I'll show it to you again here on the screen. Hover that mudra in front of the heart, and then closing the eyes, just find some deep breath. In and out of the nose. perhaps embodying your feeling word. On your exhale, releasing the hands down to your knees. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and out of the mouth, preparing for movement. On the inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. As you exhale, fold over your legs, walking your hands forward, bowing your head. Breathe into the stretch in the hip and the low back. And keep the jaw soft and the breath deep. On your inhale, walk the hands in slowly, rising up to a seat and switch the cross of your legs, bring the other shin in front or on top. Inhale, sweep the arms high, and exhale, fold.
easing in. Breathe into the stretch. On your breath in, slowly rising up once again. And bringing the soles of the feet together, open your knees wide. Using the thumbs to open the soles of the feet like a book. Inhaling, lift your heart. And exhale, fold the heart over the toes. Folding any amount. The elbows can press gently on the legs to deepen the stretch. Or slide to the front of the shins. Feel the breath flow down the spine all the way to the tailbone. On your inhale, rise up and keeping your legs as they are, roll onto your back for Supta Baddha Konasana or Reclined Cobbler's Pose. Send the arms overhead, softening the elbows. And then keeping the soles of the feet connected, draw the feet in towards the belly and interlace your hands around the outside edges of your feet. Kind of making this little frog leg stretch. Drawing the heels in towards the body. Keep resting your head and your shoulder blades back. And then taking this into happy baby. Now grab the arches of the feet, bending the knees wide, flex the feet, and then drop your left foot to the mat with the left knee bent for half happy baby. Keep holding onto your right foot, resting your left hand on your belly or on your left hip crease. And now preparing to switch your inhale, take it back into full happy baby. Holding onto your left foot, release the right foot to the mat with the knee bent, resting your right hand on the belly or the hip crease. Continue to breathe deep, flattening your low back against the earth. On your in-breath, let's take it back to happy baby for just a moment before transitioning to hug the knees into the chest. Wrap your arms around the shins and rock from side to side. And then rolling onto your right side for the fetal position going to press up into downward facing dog connecting to the waves of breath again on your inhale round the spine forward into plank pose pressing off of the toes exhale soften the knees and press back to down dog like an ocean wave inhale rippling forward plank Exhale, softening the knees as you press the belly back to the thighs, down dog. Move with your own rhythm at your own pace. Finding a deep and nourishing breath in and full and complete breaths out.
On your next inhale, let's all meet in plank pose. Exhale, drop the knees, child's pose, shifting hips back onto the heels. Rest your forehead on the mat or maybe create a little forehead pillow with your hands. Slowing down. Pisces rules the feet, so this next flow is going to stimulate and open the toes and the soles of the feet. On your inhale, come forward a bit so you can tuck the toes. And walking the hands back, lift your hips into a forward fold. Let your head dangle. Sway from side to side. You can grab opposite elbows here as well. Keep the knees soft. On your inhale, hands to shins, lift halfway. Exhale, bending knees, fold. Inhale, rise up. And at the top of the reach, lift your heels, standing on your tippy toes. Settle your gaze somewhere to help you balance. Exhale, drop your heels and fold back down. Inhale, lifting halfway. Walk the hands forward, dropping the knees. Keep your toes tucked under and sit on the heels with the hands at heart center. Engage the core and breathe into the soles of the feet. Last breath. On your inhale, hands to mat, untucking the toes. Again, sit back on the heels and walk your hands behind you so you can lift your knees. So here we're gonna get a nice stretch in the tops of the feet, the tops of the toes, the ankles. Lean back as far as you want to. And exhale, walk the hands forward, child's pose. Release breath in through the nose, out of the mouth. Let's go again. Inhale, rising up. Tuck your toes and forward fold. Inhaling, rise all the way up at the top of your reach. Lift your heels. Feel your legs firming. Exhale, drop the heels and fold down again. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, walk the hands forward, kneeling with the toes tucked, hands at heart center. Steady the breath to steady the mind. On your inhale, hands to mat, untuck the toes. Walk the hands back behind you again to lean back, lifting your knees any amount. Roll the shoulders back, lift your heart. You can also have the knees on the mat if it's too much sensation. On your exhale, child's pose, folding forward. And then our final round. Inhale, lifting up, tuck your toes, forward fold, send your hips to the sky as you exhale. Inhale, slowly rise at the top of your reach, tippy toes. Exhale, drop the heels and fold over soft knees. Inhale, lift halfway. Walk the hands forward. 
And your choice here, you can drop the knees to kneel, hands at heart center, or playing with balance, you can hover the knees so that you're balancing on the toes, like a little perch. Give it a try, you might surprise yourself. Keep the gaze softly forward. Last breath. Exhale, hands to mat. Untuck the toes. And then sitting on the heels, walk your hands back to lift your knees any amount. Deep breath in. Exhale, child's pose, folding forward and keep the arms back by your sides. Let it go. On your inhale, rise up to tabletop. And just tap the tops of the feet on the mat. This is a nice way to just release any lingering tension. On your inhale, cow belly breath. Open your heart, look forward. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale again, arching the back, cow belly. Exhale, angry cat. Inhale, cow belly. And then downward facing dog. Coming back to steady breath. From here, preparing for pigeon pose. On your inhale, float the right leg high and behind. Exhale, bring that knee forward and place it behind the right wrist. The knee is at a diagonal bend. And if this doesn't feel good or if pigeon isn't in your practice, you can lie on your back and do a figure four cross with the right ankle over the left knee for reclined pigeon. But if you're here with me, placing the fingertips as wide as the mat, let's flow. On the inhale, lift your heart. On the exhale, bowing forward, head releases last. Inhale, rolling up, lift your heart. Exhale, folding forward. Again, leading the heart open. One more time, inhale, rising up. As you exhale, walk the hands forward or stack your hands for a forehead pillow and rest your head. Check in that you're not clenching the jaw or knitting the brow. Relax through the face. Drop the tongue away from the roof of the mouth. Keeping the breath deep. On your next breath in, let's walk the hands in and lift the chest. We're gonna sweep the back leg forward, preparing for Janusirsasana or head to knee pose. Your right knee is gonna stay bent out to the side, kind of like you're in tree pose. 
That left leg is straight ahead with the foot flexed. On your inhale, find a nice tall spine. Exhale, folding forward any amount. You can grab the foot or keep the hands on the mat. Now it's called head to knee pose, but I like to think of it as heart to foot pose to really keep that length in the spine. Now releasing, inhale, lift your head. Exhale, rise to a seat. Placing the right hand behind you for modified side plank. We're gonna press up, bringing the knee under the hips and sending your left arm to the sky. Your left foot is kinda like you're in Warrior Two running parallel to the short edge of your mat and you can stay right here maybe reaching the arm over your ear or you can shift forward to float your left leg and then bending the knee reach back to grab the top of the foot open your hips and your heart forward enjoying this back bend On the inhale, release back to modified side plank. Exhale the left hand down for down dog facing the back of your mat. You can stay right here or flush through the vinyasa. And now no worries if you can't see your screen, just listen to my voice. We're gonna do the same flow. On your inhale, lift your leg high and behind, getting ready for pigeon pose. Place the left knee behind the left wrist. The knee is at that nice diagonal bend. You can do this on your back with the left ankle over the right knee. And with your hands set wide, let's do three of those heart forward bows. At your own pace, inhaling to rise, exhaling to bow down. After your third time, you can just lower down, resting your head on your hands or extending the arms forward. Check in with any clenching or resisting Breathe softness throughout the body. On your inhale, slowly rising up, taking your time. Sweep the back leg around straight forward, setting up for head to knee. Again, the legs will look like you're in tree pose, the sole of the foot against the inside of the thigh. On your inhale, lengthen the spine, then aiming your heart to your toes, fold over your leg. Folding any amount.
And to release, inhale, lift your head. Exhale, rise up to seated, placing your left hand behind you for a modified side plank. Place your knee on the mat. And if you're feeling at all unstable, make sure that your left shin is angled like a kickstand off the side of the mat. Send your right arm up to the sky. You can stay here, send that arm over the ear. Or coming into the back bend, shifting forward, bend your right knee and grab for the top of the foot. Rolling your right shoulder back. Opening through the front of the body. Maybe gazing up to the sky. Keep breathing. Exhale, release the right hand down for a downward dog. Again, facing the front of the mat. You can stay here or flush through the vinyasa. And from down dog, in your own way, let's come to lie on the back. Bend the knees, bring the feet to the floor. Just grounding here for a moment. Preparing for our final Piscean pose, fish pose. We're gonna lift the hips and place the hands under the seat, palms down, so your thumbs are touching. Draw the knees in and send your legs up to the sky. Very slowly, lower the legs to the mat and at a certain point they will lift your heart up and you can prop your chest up on the elbows. Open your throat and rest the top of your head very gently on the mat. There's almost no weight on the crown of the head. You can point the toes. Keep breathing. And to release, we're gonna press off the elbows to lift off the top of the head and just lower the back down. Bend the knees, feet to the floor to lift your hips off your hands Nice job. It's kind of a tough one to teach <laughs> online. Open your arms to a T, coming into a twist. Shift your hips over to the right side of your mat and then let your knees fall to the left. Let your left hand hold the top thigh for support. Take a deep release breath in through the nose and out of the mouth. On your inhale, come back to center, both feet flat on the mat, and swing your hips over to the left side, let your knees fall right, right hand supports the top thigh, take a nice cleansing breath to drop in.
Inhale the knees back to center for one final squeeze of the legs into the chest. Maybe curl the nose into the knees. And then we'll release into final rest, either traditional Shavasana like this, or whatever your favorite shape is to relax and to receive your practice. One more time, taking a deep breath in, and letting everything go with the exhale. Enjoy your rest. Now starting to transition back. As you deepen the breath, take a moment to embody your feeling word for a final time. What does that word feel like in your entire body? What does it feel like to be strong or free or at peace? We'll carry that with us one at a time, bending the knees, bringing the feet to the floor. Let's roll onto the right side and very gently press up to a comfortable seat with hands at heart center. It has once again been my honor to share this practice with you. Happy new moon. Let's bring the thumbs to the third eye and bow to honor each other. Thanks again for being here. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe and feel free to share your feeling word in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Happy solar return to all my Pisces people. And as usual, donation links and other ways to support these classes are available in the description. I will see you again soon on the mat 